Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. In 1958, the actor we're focusing on tonight, Kerwin Matthews, first came to the attention of mainstream moviegoers with the film The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad. It's a robust and handsome Sinbad, facing all kinds of mystical creatures, created by stop-motion animation expert Ray Harryhausen. Well, two years later came our last film with Kerwin that time as the legendary Gulliver, battling another slew of Harryhausen creatures. Mixed in between, were several down-to-earth movies that Kerwin made in which he co-starred with the likes of Van Johnson, Ernest Borgnine, and then with both Spencer Tracy and Frank Sinatra in the 1961 movie The Devil at Four O'Clock. Then in 1962, Kerwin went back to fantasy land for the film that we have for you next, which is called Jack the Giant Killer, released by United Artists. This time, however, Ray Harryhausen was not involved. That's because when Ray Harryhausen and his producing partner Charles Schneer first planned the film Seventh Voyage of Sinbad in the late 50s, they went to independent producer Edward Small for financing, but Edward Small turned them down. So the two men took the project to Columbia Pictures, which did make the movie, and of course it turned out to be a huge hit. So perhaps to cash in on that success, Edward Small soon decided to make his own version of The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, and that turned out to be this next film about Jack the Giant Killer. Edward Small commissioned a similar story in a play the hero he went after, and he got Kerwin Matthews. Great timing on everybody's part since Kerwin's contract with Columbia Studios had just ended. Small also hired actor Thorn Thatcher, who played the bad guy in Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, to be the villain this time as well. And he enlisted the same man who directed the Sinbad project, Nathan Urine. Well, what he wasn't able to do was get Ray Harryhausen, who was tied up on the movie Jason and the Argonauts. So this time, the special effects are by Howard A. Anderson and David Powell. So here's producer Edward Small's effort to recreate the Sinbad magic with a film from 1962 about Jack the Giant Killer. <laughs> 